G'day, I'm Dr. Peter Price of Classroom Professor. In this week in the Free Math Worksheet series, we're looking at the topic of 1% and 0.5%. So this topic is for older students who've learned about common fractions and about decimal fractions, and they're ready for learning about percentages. And um, almost certainly they'll have learned the larger percentages. We're getting into the really pointy end of the topic, as it were, looking at 1% and half a percent. So the first thing for students to consider in this question is what does 1% mean? And the worksheets give a short explanation and say that 1% is equal to 1 hundredth. So it's important that students have a conceptual understanding of what that means not just a rote learning, not a rote understanding that basically accepts what you say, but they can understand what that is referring to. We'll talk about the meaning of the word percent, meaning per hundred or out of a hundred. And of course we have words starting with cent and the word cent itself in the currencies of many countries, instead, including um, Australia, that is a hundredth of a dollar. And we have century and centurion and centimetre and you know, um, quite a lot of words that refer to the value of the prefix cent meaning 100. So percent meaning 100th. We're going to start there and then move forward. So in the uh, worksheets, there are a couple of examples like this. So we start with a number like 300 and say, what will 100th of 300 be? Well, that would be just plain 3. And I would want to help students to understand that by asking them questions like if we divide that by 100, if we take 100th part of that, what will it be? Don't, in my view, you shouldn't talk about just moving the digits. So we're not talking about just moving the digits. They'll see that pattern, but we want them to understand why first and have some idea of you know how the numbers are changing as they are in this case divided by 100. So um, we can make a more advanced number, say 2300, what number will that become? It will become just plain 23. Let's make this a little bit more challenging. So we'll say this is the ones column and I'll just label these. So this will be the decimal point, so this will be tenths and this will be hundredths. So now let's start with the number 50 as a whole number and we're going to call it $50 so it's got some uh, monetary value and say what would 1% of $50? Now I should say the reason for calling it dollars is that we often apply percentages to monetary amounts and so it's you know it's part of the context for a lot of you know introductory um, learning about percentages. So what's going to happen to the $50 if we take 1% of 50? What's going to happen to it? If we've done the previous exercises and we've seen how the numbers are moving two places to the right, if we do the same thing here, and I'm using these magnetic numbers again, numerals I should say, and we put the 50 there, we're going to need a decimal point. We can put our dollar sign here, but we'll need a zero in the dollars place. The student should be able to see that we convert $50 to $0.50 cents, um, through following a pattern of how we apply this question to other larger whole numbers. Now, taking 0.5% of course is an extension of 1%. So we would approach it from that perspective. So once the students have seen that 1% is 1 hundredth, half a percent must be half of that. Um, I wouldn't immediately jump in and say so therefore it's it's one two hundredth which it is but I think it's easier for students learning this um, knowledge and, and and developing this skill to think of it um, taking one percent first and then finding half of it and later on we can apply other processes to it um, and so I don't need to put this up in the numbers, but the, the students will be able to see that, that if you take 1%, which is a matter of moving the digits two places to the right, and then halve the result, you'll get half a percent. Of course, more advanced students will be able to do this um, mentally. So for example, with our example of 34 and converting that, or rather multiplying it by half a percent, a good student will see that half of 34 is 17 and 1% will 
1% of 34 is 34 cents, half of that is 17 cents. Um, and so that's the result. So this really is quite a challenging topic, but I don't think the students will find it too difficult once they get used to the pattern. Um, we need to reinforce their learning, of course, with asking good questions to prompt the conceptual development as well. So that's it for this video. I hope your students enjoy the worksheets and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you.